everybody putting another video on for you in regards to one of the main questions of concern about aftermarket parts for Osterflam and Rika. Uh, unfortunately, due to Osterflam and Rika no longer being imported into the United States, um, there is a very slow boat uh, from Austria on original parts uh, for motors, fans, this and that. Um, so what that means is, is original parts, if they do pop into the United States from Austria at any point of the year, uh, they're very limited and they do run out during the busy season. Julie and I purchased the Oregon distributorship for Osterflom, which was the main distributor for Osterflom and Rika, um, several years back. And we have every, you know, original nut and screw and we have doors and, you know, we got all kinds of parts and products for the majority of the models out there. Um, wood, gas, and pellet stoves. Not so much in gas uh, due to the fact the distributor didn't carry much, but the pellet stove is heavy. The wood stove is, you know, we got parts, but it is what it is. So the reason why I'm making this video is, is a lot of individuals out there um, have a tendency to just out of necessity of trying to get their stoves up and running because it's their heat source, they'll just get online and they'll just look for the first thing that says, you know, just in particular, a combustion fan for Osterflam. Or in the ad, it'll say it'll work for these models. And Osterflam might be listed along with Breckwell and, and yada, yada, yada. So what that means to you is the part might work if you do some modifications to it. And a lot of individuals out there are looking for plug and play parts, which obviously, you know, back in the day, you would order an original auger motor, you would get the original, let's just say for Arika 2006 and newer, you would get the original blue auger motor. And for those of you that have 2006 and newer, you know what I'm saying if you still happen to have the original motor. But since then, those original auger motors have phased out. And now there's mainly just aftermarket. Now, there are many levels of aftermarket parts out there. There are products that are uh, made in the United States, and there are a lot of parts made in, you know, obviously China. And I would highly suggest that if you can get a part that is not imported from China, uh, I would go that direction. Unfortunately, there are some parts that, you know, they're not being manufactured right now. And um, that could be the only direction that you can go. Uh, we have never encouraged anybody to put a Chinese part in an Osterflam or a Rika. Why would you say that, Scott? Well, let me tell you. The reason is, is because Chinese parts are made inferior to the original Osterflam design and quality of materials. That's how they keep their you know, prices down. Um, and which is very intriguing and alluring to a lot of you out there, especially this day and age with the economy the way that it is, you want obviously to spend the, the least amount for fixing your need, right? So do we sell Chinese parts? If we have to, um, <laughs> you know what? Made in America is the best way to go, obviously, if it's an aftermarket part. We got to support our own. Our economy needs it. Our people, you know, need it. So I support... Um, any American company. If there are other uh, countries out there that are putting out aftermarket parts, I'll take a look at them before I take a look at Chinese parts. Now, 
you know, some of you out there, that's all you sell is, is the least expensive parts. Good for you. But since I was one of the first original individuals to introduce the best pellet stove in the industry, Osterflom, uh, back in the early 90s, I know the quality of this stove. And the reputation of this stove has stayed very high due to the fact that you can take a 30-year-old stove and the guts of it, not the guts, but the, the body of it is going to be in just as good a shape unless it's been sitting out in the rain for 20 years to where you can refurb it, you can put in new parts and give it new life. Okay, there's a lot of products out there that due to just heating them up of inferior products, just the heating up and the cooling down, the metal cracks, the, the welding cracks, and it's a throwaway stove. I can throw a name out there that has a lot of people believing that this particular brand of stoves is made in the U.S., but they are Chinese products that are imported with a name that leads you to believe that they're made in the U.S., okay? So I have a lot of individuals here in Texas. Texans are very thrifty, okay? I'm telling you, Texans don't like to spend any more than they have to. And when they call us up, we normally carry middle of the road and upper end products. You know what? They're like, well, give me the starting point, Scott. What's, what's the cheapest wood stove or the cheapest pellet stove that you carry out there? We do have that line, but let me tell you what happens. That line, you get what you pay for. Okay, it's not going to last as long. It's not going to be as quiet. It's not going to be as efficient. And plain and simple, they have problems. They have parts in them that are from imported countries. So they don't last as long. So what that what does that mean? That means that you're going to buy that product from Julie and I. We're married to each other now due to the fact that we're, we're going to take care of you for as long as you have that stove. And we're going to keep you up and running. That's the way that it should be, right? So... We don't necessarily like to, to throw those numbers out there. And you Texans, come on now. If you could just up your, your tab just a little bit, we'll give you a product that's going to, you know, it's going to keep you nice, warm, toasty, and it's going to last for a long time. So this is what we have to offer in regards to selling the aftermarket parts compared to um, others out there that have them for sale and they might be less price than us uh, due to the fact that they might not have the overhead that we do. Uh, this day and age, there's a lot of people that are working from home right now and more power to you, trust me. Uh, you know, I'm not, I'm not slamming on anybody for doing that. Um, but the problem is, is if by chance an individual is selling the parts out there and they don't know anything about the product, they're just buying it to resell it, then that's gonna potentially be a problem for you uh, if you have any problems with the part, if you have to modify the part, <clears throat> and if you have any questions about the stove or the operation of the stove after they have to sell you the part and you put it in and it's you know not making you happy. Uh, the main difference is, is if by chance we have an aftermarket part and it needs to be modified in any way, we modify it. So we find out what stove you have, what model you have, and we will modify the wiring, the connectors, um, you know, in some of the motherboards, we have to modify the uh, EPROMs. Uh, inside of the board in order to make it an igniter unit or whatever, or use a thermostat. And we do all of that. And what that does is if you buy the part from us, we're going to assist you in making sure that it's a one-time purchase 
um, in order to get the, done, the job done right. Um, again, I'm not, I'm not dissing on any of you guys out there that are trying to make an honest buck and reselling the parts. But, unfortunately, and I know for a fact that you out there, <laughs> you, you have problems. You have customers that have a lot of questions about the stoves and you don't have any answers. So you'll leave whatever. So that's the main difference uh, between buying from us and buying from somebody else online someplace else. You will get the best information in order to get your stove up and running as quick as possible purchasing with us. And you know what? We don't make any money off of uh, our our many hours a day of answering emails and questions and so forth. We do it due to the fact that somebody's got to be out there to help all of you out there that are having issues and you have nowhere to turn. So all we ask for is, hey, if we help you, please give us a good review. You know, it's it's these days... A good review is uh, hard to come by, but if somebody has something bad to say about you, boy, they're on there just beating them uh, keys to death. So, you know, we've kept our reviews quite positive, and, uh, you know, that's all we ask for for our services of helping you out. So, but anyhow, the Osterflom is a stove that you do not want to put inferior parts in it due to the fact that it is starting to affect the reputation of Osterflom and Rika um, because a lot of people are buying aftermarket, or not aftermarket stove, but secondhand Osterfloms and Rikas, and they're filled with cheap parts. So as soon as they get it, they have a stove that's noisy, inefficient, and the parts aren't lasting. So in their mind, Osterflom is not that great of a stove. So let me just put it this way. We are here to help you keep your Osterflom up and running with the best quality part or products that is available. So give us a call at 800-348-1021. Email us, please, if it is September all the way through March, please email us because we do not answer our phones. We have an answering service that takes messages. Our email, offgridstoves with an S at gmail.com. We're more than happy to help you out. You guys stay safe out there. Peace.